What's up, guys? It's your boy TC back with another video. So, some more transfer news, but this time it looks like uh, it's going to be a certain one. And uh, on this occasion, as you may tell from the title, we will be discussing Gabriel Martinelli. So, it's just going to be a quick video as an update. If you didn't watch the initial video that I made in regards to Martinelli, click the card above just now, and that will take you to the previous video that we made. But it looks like the deal had been confirmed and done and dusted a while ago when we put that video out. But reports are surfacing, or not even reports as such, but it looks like we're getting closer to this particular transfer of a 17-year-old who's coming in from Brazil. Uh, currently plays for Ichuano, but he has got some Italian heritage, as we previously discussed as well, which will allow him to actually come through to Arsenal without any complications in regards to visas, etc. So the move looks like it's on the verge of actually being completed. And what set people off and what set the media off in terms of actually reporting on this particular transfer is the fact that Mark Martinelli himself has actually followed Arsenal. As you can see from the image that's just popped up on the screen now, he certainly followed Arsenal. Really, is there a reason to follow Arsenal if there's no link whatsoever to the player? So typically you see this happening. It's happened with Aubameyang. It happened with Lacazette when these two players came in. We saw them starting to follow the Arsenal on social media. So I'm definitely, definitely getting excited on a personal basis. And it looks like that that move will certainly be happening. So reports are suggesting that uh, the move may certainly happen after June the 18th. That's when everything will be done and dusted. And the reason for that move to happen on that particular date is due to the fact that Martinelli will be turning 18 on that particular day. So at the moment, he won't be able to join the club up until he turns 18 and uh, he's legally an adult at that particular point. I'm assuming there are certain stipulations and legalities that are involved in terms of actually bringing in someone who's considered a minor at the age of 17, even though in England 16 is basically deemed as if uh, you're basically an adult. But in terms of legalities, I do believe that once you're 18, that makes the uh, the whole process simpler. So I'm guessing that's what the club was waiting for, as well as all the other stakeholders involved in this whole situation uh, in regards to the Martinelli move. So extremely, extremely excited. Um, do we get the announcement on June the 18th? I don't know. I reckon the club may certainly wait until July the 1st when the new kit has been actually revealed, um, which is going to be quite an interesting time. Of course, uh, a lot of us are getting excited about this new Adidas kit coming in. So I do understand or I do believe that we will have a number of sign-ins, uh, maybe one or two revealed when the kit is actually released as well. So I expect the Martinelli signing to be announced at that particular point as well. In terms of Martinelli coming in, so we know that he plays as a forward. It can be deployed wide, it can be deployed uh, centrally uh, as an out-and-out -out striker. But we currently have outstanding talent in the squad in, in, in regards to the forward areas. So Lacazette will fall into that basket, Aubameyang will fall into that basket. We also have young players as well who can play in these positions, namely Reese Nelson, he's returning from loan. Uh, Smith Rowe can be deployed in those areas as well. Uh, we also have uh, Edin Katia, part of the team has featured on the bench uh, on, on occasion, scored his first Premier League goal for the club as well last season. So there's these players that we also need to take into consideration. There's that one question, which is, does Martinelli go into the first team straight away? Does he go out on loan? Uh, does he play within the academy? We know that there's been a recent switch as well in terms of um, the academy management. So Steve Bold has been essentially demoted, which was good news to myself. And Freddie Umberg has been uh, promoted. So does he go into the academy and start playing over there? hoping to impress the manager, hoping to get a call up to the first team or we'll see him thrust into the spotlight and actually go into the first team straight away. So that's a question that's yet to be answered. We'll certainly see when the season starts. We will also catch a glimpse of him during the pre-season, which is always a good thing as well. Uh, when you make signings in the summer, you get to see them in the pre-season as well just to get a measure of what they're like. Uh, but it's going to be an extremely interesting time, ladies and gentlemen, and I do hope that the club will spend wisely in terms of the fee for Martinelli, seems quite reasonable as we speak at the moment. It's £6.5 million, um, which is not astronomical in this particular market that we're currently in. Kids that age are going for maybe three, four times more than that. So seems like good business. Will it pay off? We have to wait and see. 
But as usual, please do let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to the channel, please do make sure that you do hit that subscribe button. So once again, guys, it's your boy TC from I'm Gonna Talk TV, and I'm out.